in our presentation, we will have five main stops. Introduction, Site Analysis, Design, IES Simulation, and Conclusion. Let's start our journey. In architecture, a pavilion refers to a subsidiary building that is either positioned separately or as an attachment to a main building. Nowadays, it can be found in several shapes for different function, either as a block or a standalone structure. During the 70s, the country was depending on oil as main economic driver. By the time the country started to invest more into non-oil activities, as real estate development, tourism. Nowadays, the country is heading towards achieving a sustainable living environment, and this become one of the main goals to reach. So sustainable tourism is an approach of engaging sustainability in tourism and introduce tourism in a new dress. To the world. Sustainable tourism is when sustainability meets fun. The aim of this project is to achieve the goals of the National Innovation Strategy concerning both the public building energy performance and the development of the governmental sector and smart services in the UAE, represent the sustainable future of the country and act as a life educational project for other public use buildings in the UAE achieve a net zero energy building to decide what tourists and locals in UAE like to do as an entertainment activity we created a survey and distributed it around metros and airports to strengthen our idea we went back and did another survey asking people why would they prefer or not camping as an activity around 500 people participated in the survey the result showed that most of them prefer camping since it's suitable for families and friends, nice weather and not crowded usually, and people who dislike it mentioned that packing has a problem, safety and privacy. Using these comments, we will improve our design to satisfy people's needs. Our site is based in United Arab Emirates, which is located in Asia as part of the Middle East and cover an area of 83,600 km square, with a population around 9.4 million. Our location UAE is in Ras Al Khaimah, which one of the seven emirates and located in the northern part of UAE. The most preferable place of camping pavilion is in Jebel Jis. Now, Let's go and explore our location in Jebel Jis. Jebel Jis is part of Hijr mountain, have a height of 1,934 meters. Many tourists love to take a road trip and camp there due to the activities that located on the viewing point along Jebel Jis. Here's some interesting facts about visiting Jebel Jis. The map shows the location of the open areas along Jebel Jis, with the activities and our chosen site. Many reasons were playing a big role while choosing Jebel Jis as a location for our site. For example, the challenging mountain environment and the response to many climate changes, in addition to the beautiful surrounding nature. Moving to the climate characteristic, the wind rolls showed that the wind blows from the northwest direction in UAE. On the other hand, the sun pass showed the sun movement over the year for the summer and winter. Moving to the temperature, Ras Al Khaimah have a hot, humid climate, and the temperature can reach up to 45 cities in summer and decrease to 11 cities in winter. On the other hand, the relative humidity in Ras Al Khaimah can reach up to 69% in January and December. Concluding from our previous weather data, we end up with the site analysis that shows the accessibility for our site and the site boundaries, summer and winter sun paths, and the preferred wind direction. Istidama, the sustainability program in UAE. 
It aims to create more sustainable communities, cities, and global enterprises and balance the four pillars of sustainability, environmental, economic, social, and cultural. The design idea is inspired by the Russian Matryoshka doll, using a standard used shipping container with three different sizes following the doll concept of having the same shape but with different sizes placed one inside another. Zoning was made to satisfy the privacy and comfort of residents. For the architectural drawings, the elevation for the north and east direction are shown after the expansion for the Campylian unit. We used 100% recycled, sustainable and local material in our project. Saruj, for example, a traditional water-resistant mortar, highly compacted with a different climate and has a U-value of 0.18. Silver is, for example, an insulation material made out 85% of recycled newspaper with a U-value of 0.2 and smart glass which can change its properties transmission in terms of response to factors such as temperature. A folder humidity collector inside Burjil made of polypropylene mesh that captures water droplets into a tank where news can be used in kitchen or green roof. For the mechanical system, the container blocks are moved using runner block slides on guide rail. Shading device at ease is moved to front and backward depending on season and amount of light preferred in the bedrooms using a folding arm. Burjil up and down movement is based on elevated mechanical system similar to the one used in elevator. A wire rope pulls up and down the burjil with the help of a sheave system. Mashrabi sliding mechanism uses truck and carriage system to ensure quiet and easy movement of pan. To get the number of PV panels needed, we use the appliance electrical consumption table to get the average appliance electrical usages and getting the daily sun hours for our location we got 1107 kilowatt per hour per month and though we need six solar panels each generating 310 watts in turn to achieve sustainability we used IES software to create different scenarios for a base case and compare it with a pavilion scenarios which will measure our improvement in a daylight factor, temperature, ventilation, glare, and solar gain. We assign materials in the base case in order to satisfy Stidama regulation and use it as a benchmark for our pavilion. For example, adding some insulation material to lower the U-value. Moving to solar shading calculation through the year, we pick three months with three timings, in each as an example time to check the effectiveness of pavilion in different seasons. We choose January for winter, March for spring, and July for summer. Moreover, we studied the shading to make sure all scenarios are benefiting from the solar shade. In some scenarios, where the campaign is in the expansion state with the closed mesh panels and horizontal shaded device covering the east direction and a fully open bridge to ventilate the inner space. For the sun exposure, we managed to reduce the heat in the summer by 18.3% in Scenario 1, 19% for Scenario 2, and 164 in Scenario 3. Moreover, we managed 
the reduction for the solar gain by 42% in Scenario 1 and 50% in Scenario 2 and 40% in Scenario 3. The false color shows the luminance for day factor analysis and how they changed from the base case to reach comfortable range within the pavilion. As is clear from the scenario's result, the big reduction in daylight factor and level are achieved within the pavilion. From the ventilation analysis graph, the velocity contour shows that the Bergeo enhanced the indoor velocity within the pavilion. In the winter scenario, the Burji will be embedded and closed to prevent any cold wind from entering the pavilion, and the Mashrabiya panels will be fully open from north direction to increase the natural lighting and temperature to reach comfort. The sun exposure was reduced with the range between 30% up to 47% for scenarios 4 to 6. In winter scenarios, the solar gain was reduced. For example, it reached up to 89% in scenario 5. Again, the picture shows how the sun exposure changed from the base case to reach comfort within the pavilion for winter times. Clearly from the color range picture, that the reduction for daylight factor analysis was achieved within the pavilion. For example, for daylight factor it reached to 92% and for daylight level it reached to 93%. During winter, closing the budget reduced the wind pressure and increased the indoor temperature. For the spring scenario, we use moderate techniques. We keep Bergia to keep the cool airflow inside, the space between mushrooms panels and apart when the sun is needed, and move the closer to be blocked, and east shading device moved inwards following our shading step. For sun exposure, we managed to reduce the air temperature by 31% in Scenario 7, 18.7 in Scenario 8, and 23.9% in Scenario 9. Solar gain was reduced to less than 50% in Scenario 7, 75% in Scenario 8, and 32% in Scenario 9. Daylight factor was improved as well in Pavilion and became within comfort level as per Estadama. In Scenario 7, daylight factor became 4.5% and daylight level 264 lux. Scenario 8, the daylight factor became 2.6% and the daylight level became 227 lux. In Scenario 9, the daylight factor became 5.9% and the daylight level became 302 lux. The velocity contour shows that the air velocity indoor has improved due to the introducing of Bergil and air temperature has reduced to comfort levels. Bergil helped in making external wind that comes through move inside, first to living room, then towards the kitchen and exiting from Bergil again or through kitchen window moving out all unpleasant smells away from sitting areas and bedrooms and also cools down the space. Trubia panels worked as either wind flow blocker or enhancer depending on seasons and timing. Finally, we managed to enhance the comfort within the pavilion as you can see from the psychometric chart. The base case was outside the comfort zone during seasons and pavilion is providing a comfort space during all seasons. According to Abu Dhabi and Dubai construction cost benchmarking, the cost range of for a small construction is 38,000 to 42,000 dirhams, which is equal to 2,100 dirhams per meter square. After doing feasibility analysis, the camp plan would cost around 28,200 dirhams, equals to 133 dirhams per meter square, with the payback in two years and saving around 13,800 dirhams. According to Estidama per rating system, the building must satisfy all mandatory requirements to achieve one per system and gets higher per rating if achieve higher score. 
the best Babylon achieved one pearl scoring only 15 points while Campylon achieved five pearls scoring 73 points. The Campylon can be used for different function for camping on mountains, desert adventures, lake house, hotel and resorts, or as a food truck. The project will be proposed on several competition in UAE such as Zaid Sustainability Prize, Think Science and National Environmental Day and to civil authorities such as UAE government, Dubai municipality and master. Campelan, where sustainability meets fun.